Let's keep looking at the syllabus to point out a couple other key things you should be looking for. If you scroll down, you'll see that there is an attendance policy on every course syllabus. This is more important for on-campus courses. Attendance in an online class is subjective and it's more open-ended as long as you meet the due dates of the assignments posted. But one thing that's important about taking an online class is that you must be considered as, quote, having attended class. And the way that teachers will mark that is they'll make something due or make some sort of requirement during the first week of the semester. And any students that log in and complete those activities will be considered as having attended the course. Any students that haven't completed those activities may be dropped for non-attendance to make way for other students to enroll in the course. And so it's important to make sure that you understand what that is. In Art 1280, that means you must complete everything within Module 1, which is our Introduction to the Class module, before the end of the first week of the semester. Some other key things to note are grading policies. You can see right here that the grading policy for Art 1280 is that you must score a 93% or higher in order to earn an A, and then you can look through to see what the breakdown would be for an A-, B, B+, etc. You can also see course requirements, and this is how your grade is calculated. So in most classes, you'll have things like exams are weighted 20%, and homework is graded 50%, and um, projects are graded 30%, etc. In Art 1280, you're graded by the module, and so every module has a certain percentage of your grade that it's worth, and every module has a different number of points, but it doesn't matter how many points are inside the module, the module is only worth that percentage of your grade. So Module 1, Getting Started in Art 1280, which you'll complete in the first day of the semester, is worth 5% of your grade, but Modules 3 through 6 are each worth 20% of your grade because they carry the most weight in the course. So basically what's going to happen throughout the semester is after you finish Module 2, you'll know exactly how many points for Module 2 have been earned. And then we'll work on Module 3, and you can know exactly how many points in Module 3 are earned. And so as you progress through the semester, the grade that you see in the gradebook is your accurate grade reflected through the activities that you've completed so far.